Today we are going to be baking some rolls in our Nectar 550 wood-fired oven. We will walk you through the process for baking in the Nectar since it uses radiant heat instead of the usual convection heat. This is our first time cooking in the stove, so hopefully we can make our learning process a teaching moment that will benefit you. The first step is lighting a consistent fire in your nectar. The upper firebox is where you will stack your wood and the lower firebox is your oven. Keep in mind that because the nectar is an airtight wood burning stove, lighting a fire in it is different than lighting a campfire outdoors. When you first light your fire, you wanna make sure you can get enough air drafting into the firebox to establish a good burn. You can do this by opening the damper, the air adjustment valve, and the air spindle control on the door. Once your flames are high, you wanna close all of these valves so your wood will burn longer. You can even see the difference in the airflow when you adjust the valves. For instructions on how to light a fire in an EPA certified wood stove, see our how to light a fire video. Next, we wanna get the oven up to temperature. We filled the firebox pretty full so we could get the oven heated evenly and we will allow the temperature to drop to exactly where we want. We are thinking we'll try to bake the rolls somewhere between 300 and 375 degrees Fahrenheit. We'll watch the temperature gauge and adjust the valves to get the temperature where we want it, but make sure as soon as you begin to build heat that you engage your damper. So just a disclaimer here, your manual states that the thermometer is just a guide and when the door reads 212 degrees Fahrenheit, the internal temperature of the oven can be 356 degrees Fahrenheit. After about 30 minutes, our temperature was holding steady at 400 degrees. This would have been perfect if we were cooking pizza or most meat dishes, but for bread, we want to drop that temperature. So we opened up the air adjustment valve of the oven and the temperature began to lower. So we came back to check the temperature after 15 minutes. Initially, the temperature decreased, but then it went back to 400 degrees and maintained the heat. This is actually great news if you're baking for Thanksgiving day because the oven will maintain the heat you need to bake multiple dishes on very little fuel. Since we still needed the heat to drop, we decided to open all of the air adjustment valves and the damper, allowing the fire to burn hotter so the temperature would drop faster after burning through the existing fuel. For this recipe, we used five cups of flour, one tablespoon of yeast, one cup of water, a half a cup of sugar, a half a cup of melted butter, and one teaspoon of salt. First, mix the yeast, some of the sugar, about one to two tablespoons, and all of the water, making sure the water is hot. Let this mixture sit for about five to 10 minutes or until the mixture is bubbly. Once the mixture is bubbly, pour it into the mixer and add melted butter. Next, add the rest of the sugar, the salt, and some of the flour. Turn on the mixer and then keep adding flour in one half cup increments until the dough pulls away from the sides of the mixer. You'll know when the dough is finished because it will have a tacky texture to it. If the dough is too dry that it's not slightly sticking to your fingers, you will want to add some extra butter to the dough. If the dough is too sticky where it's pulling away from the dough or completely sticking to your fingers, you will want to add more flour until you get that tacky consistency that you're after. Now it's time to put the rolls in. We watched the rolls through the entirety of the baking process and we would highly recommend doing this for at least the first couple of times you bake in the oven for a few reasons. First, the Nectar wood-fired oven ended up cooking the rolls a lot faster than they usually do in a conventional oven. Second, cooking with a wood-burning stove is an art, not a science. It will be at least a little bit different every time you bake, so make sure that you're keeping a close eye on anything that you're baking so that it doesn't burn up. After about three minutes, the tops of our rolls started to look pretty brown, so we took them out to check them. We found that the tops were cooking all the way through, but the bottoms were still pretty doughy. So in order to solve this problem, we set the rolls on top of the oven so that the bottoms could cook, allowing the tops of the rolls to stay at the golden brown color that we really wanted. After four minutes, the bottoms were browning exactly how we liked, but they just needed a little more time for the center. We moved the baking rack down and put them back in the oven for two minutes before taking them out to enjoy them. On our second batch, we started with a lower temperature in the oven, so we were able to bake the rolls for six minutes in the oven and two minutes on top of the oven to get the bottoms golden brown. The Nectar wood-fired oven is made in New Zealand and is constructed of steel and cast iron components. The main unit is steel and the doors are cast iron. There is an outer steel casing and two inner steel boxes, one for the oven and one for the firebox. 
This allows the heat from the upper firebox to travel around the oven through the casing before escaping through the chimney. You can control where the heat will travel by opening and closing the damper. When the damper is closed, the heat will move around the oven, and when it is open, it will move through the chimney. You can tell the damper is closed by watching the flames on the inside of the firebox. If the flames look like they are traveling outside of the firebox, then the damper is closed. This specific unit will heat up to 2,500 square feet, and it comes in a smaller version that heats up to 1,000 square feet. Both are perfect backup options for your main source of heat and your cooktop oven. Thanks so much for watching. If you're interested in the Nectar Wood Fired Oven, we have them available at Maple Mountain Fireplace in Springville, Utah. Give us a call at 801-489-5052 or visit our website at www.maplemtnfireplace.com.